Hello, you gorgeous stack of flapjacks. How are you today? I am doing well. Listen, I'm not talking about any ordinary flapjacks. I'm talking about the five stack, nice square of butter, drizzling maple syrup type of flapjacks. <laughs> I'm doing great. It's going to be a quick video because I am working hard to get everybody's paintings out from the auction. So I'm going to do another rainbow cell video, but this time I'm going to use a blue cell activator. If you want to see how I may or want to know how I mix these paints, I have a very, very detailed description down below. This is three parts vivid enamel with two parts polycrylic. I mix my colors first. I find out what the consistency of those are going to be. And then I pour my white house paint into a cup. And if it's a lot thicker than those, I will add just a little tiny bit of water at a time. A little tiny bit of water. You know what I'm saying. A little at a time. And I will make sure it's the same consistency as these so that everything flows together. The reason why people are getting cracked paintings is because of consistency issues. If this right here is too thick and the colors themselves are thinner, they will dry faster. While this one is still drying, they will be dried and splitting apart. So that's why consistency is a big factor when it comes to acrylic pouring and how your painting turns out in the end. Now I am working on an eight inch round birch wood panel that I absolutely love. I get these at Blick. Um, I'm going to try to find a link for something that is identical. I won't post anything less than this because I feel these are just superior quality. Um, but I will tell you that you do pay for what you, you get what you pay for when it comes to stuff like this. Um, somebody messaged me or left a message in my group saying, why is, does anybody else have this problem with um, canvases when you take the tape off, the canvas is ripping on the back? And the answer to that is yes. That's when you use cheap canvas, like a level one, the cheapest you can get. The quality is not as good as another canvas that is triple the price. Now, that's not to say that your painting won't come out beautiful on a cheaper canvas. It's just that you're going to have that ripping in the back. And if you try to resin it, there's a good chance it's going to sag. You can try to help the sagging by shoving cardboard up the back of it to support the canvas itself. So these are the two opaque colors that I am using for the bottom. Okay, I'm going to be use it, using Blingit um, interference colors to create the rainbow effect. So what you need to put them on top of is a opaque color. I'm choosing two for this. And then you also need an opaque color for, um, if you're gonna do the bloom like I am, your cell activator. So that's what I'm using here. Now you can you don't have to use an opaque color. You can use a primary elements for your cell activator. I just like to have that matte look going over um, if I use primary elements or the blingets. Now this is an older bottle that says primary elements on it. They now say blingit. Okay. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different interferences. There's Violet, blue, green, red. And then there's also a line of Blingit sparkle colors. The difference between the two is this will interfere with your color, give you that shifting, whereas the sparkle will give you a paint that has sparkle. And I will show you the difference really quick. And then we'll move on. So this, and I left the flash on my phone on, I hope you can see it. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is a sparkle color. 
So you can add this to one of your primary elements and you can get a, a blue color that will have a red sparkle in it. And this is an in interference color where, I don't know if this will show up. You can see around the lid, the little bit of pink. It's going to make your blue paint shift to a violet color when you move your painting. So that's the difference. One sparkles, was one doesn't. This blanket line is unique in where you can use them both in resin and in acrylic pouring. So let me stop jabbing. We're going to do this quick. And see if we could come up with a pretty little flower. It's eight inches. Don't know if I mentioned that. But here we go. I'm going to start with this pretty blue by Holbein, which is called Thalo Turquoise in the blue shade. There's a Thalo Turquoise in a green shade, and there's one in a blue shade. This is the blue shade. So I'm going to do three puddles, just like yesterday. Then I'm going to use my Blick Turquoise or Teal. That's sold by Blick Art Materials. The Holbein, you can find some of the colors on Amazon. I have some of them in my shop. And if you don't see them there, you can always search for them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start layering down my colors, my interference colors that I have all mixed up. Again, full recipe will be in the description. This is a violet. I'm sorry, lied. That's the red. Uh, let's see. We'll go with gold next. Interference gold. Making a mess. Okay, then next we're going to do interference violet i'm not sure if that'll show up on screen they're very hard to see that's why you really should use them on top of a dark color because you won't get hardly any effect unless they're on top of a dark color or mixed into another color they they do really well on dark colors and it doesn't have to be black just any dark color then I'm going to do, and I did this purposely, because I'm using a blue cell activator, if I put a violet underneath this or a red, it would turn this purple in areas, and I didn't want that. So it still will maybe, if it touches somewhere, make that a little bit purple, but I purposely put the pinks and reds down first so that the greens and blues would be up on the top. So this is an interference green. And then this is interference blue. I'm going to tell you guys a little secret too. When it comes to these measurements, especially for this technique, if you put a, a spoonful of enamel in there or your house paints, whatever you're using, and just splash a little bit of the polycrylic in there and mix it to get it to the right consistency. Just keep adding. You really don't even have to measure. It just works. It all works. You just got to add those things slowly, like the polycrylic. And here is my cell activator, which is Prussian blue. 
mixed with American flow trial and it's a little bit watery, but it's still going to work. Mark my words. You can see it's going underneath the colors and that's fine. I'm fine with that. All right. So now it's time to blow. Start off slowly, aiming your breath to see where it is, blow lightly, and then when you're confident that you're going in the right direction, then give it a good huff and puff. <laughs> I'm already out of breath. Okay, see? Very pretty. You don't have to blow hard. And I'll come back and do this part with my straw. That's why I love this mat to put on my Lazy Susan with this technique. It's just amazing. Let it dry, peel it right off. I have the Lowly Vefe mat, uh, link down below too. All right, now I'm gonna get my metal straw. And work on some of these tighter areas that I missed with my breath. And then you could also, if you have a area here that's all solid, where the cell activator was, you could blow straight down into it to get those cells activated. But I'm kind of liking that little area, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. Okay, this is drop dead gorgeous, guys. I cannot wait to show you the colors that I am seeing. So we're going to wait a second. I'm going to pause you. We're going to wait for the paint to come back to the surface. While we are waiting, I want you to pay attention to something. Watch as I go forward. You can see a little bit, right? Now watch as I come backwards with the light. Can you see that lighting up? I'll try it over here. You know, if I shut off my ring light, it'll be even better. Okay, so here we go. I'll go forward first. You'll see it a little bit, not too much. But now watch as we come backwards. Look at that. And those are the effects you're going to be seeing when it's hanging on the wall and you walk by it. Or you have that resin on it. It's just going to be magical. So let's stretch this out now. This is really, really pretty. You almost hate to stretch it, but you have to because there's just too much paint on there. It will crack no matter what. So you have to get some of it off. You don't have to get a lot off if you don't want to. You just have to make sure that there's not a whole ton of paint on there. So take your time with this part. This is where a lot of people have issues. You just have to take your time and watch the patterns. Okay. 
sometimes you end up with a piece where it's just beautiful everywhere <laughs> but you have to get rid of some of it so now I'm going to come back up and back down stretch it that way a little bit this looks like the underside of a beautiful oyster shell wow So as soon as these are dry, I'm going to be resining them and I should be able to show you them within a day or two. Not this one, but the other two that I did is that is just magical. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down, shut the lights off again, and we're going to end the video. All right, here we go. So we'll go over this way first. I just absolutely love the patterns. And now we're going to tilt the light a little bit. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. So if you're interested in getting any of the Blingit interference colors, primary elements, resin art colors, we're going to have to start doing resin again soon because I'm getting uh, some requests. And uh, Indiana Color Art also sells resin art colors, so... And if you think these primary elements are beautiful, wait till you see those. So anyway, the link is below. Click on it, color art. Go to the Blingit section to get your interference colors. The link for the mat is there. All my other links, social media, United We Pour, my Facebook group. Come on over and join, post your artwork. Get help if you need it. We have a lot of great members. And I think that's about it, guys. So until next time, happy pouring.